This is Deductor continuing the Battle Brothers Season 12 Anonymous playthrough. In the last episode, we killed four Linworms in a tough battle. Uh, it took 50 minutes. Like, the time went by so quickly, I did not think that battle took 50 minutes. Uh, but four Linworms are no joke, especially if you can't hit anything, which our company didn't. Made good use of a fire grenade. Um, Rhubarb didn't do as good of a job as bait we need to maybe i need to just follow everybody back except for rhubarb and then i really need him to have like drawn off one or two of the linworms i would have made the fight so much easier like there would be no danger whatsoever as it were alejandro was in a bit of trouble and and as was uh aspen uh, so you know they're back there recovering uh, in contrast, Rages did a good job dodging hits left and right, so good for you. A lot of our armors got wrecked, but we have plenty more armor, and we found a goblin camp, which is perfect. It's a very small camp, we've beaten way worse than this, but I, after that Lindworm battle, I just kind of want to relax and do something simple, you know? So let's field our trainees uh, and our new guys. I'm actually going to go fortify mine on... Oh, you don't have student. You only get two more perks. Oh, I mean, you don't need Fortify Mind. What you need is student to get you the last level a little, just that little bit quicker. I do a lot of, like, take student on level 10 because, like, I don't need the perks, right? Fortify Mind has to be one of them. Like, there's not even a choice. And then, I don't know if I'll go for Rotate or Resilient. Resilient has less value. It is specifically against day, so you can keep, like, Indami. Kind of actually wish I gave you the infinite shield wall potion. But no, it's good on Alejandro. We could just, like, not have Resilient because I'm not worried about bleeds. And if you get dazed, it's just really, really going to suck. Eh. Because I want, like, one rotation. It could have all sorts of uses. Oh, they really want to shoot Bob the Beast. This could be an opportunity to loot more nets. Maybe not. Alright, same deal. We always wait for them to move first. 31%. I actually don't hate falling back. Can lure them out. Get a bit of the high ground. Okay, the bait strategy is not working. These goblins are too smart. And it just lets them, like, uh, make all the goblins confident. So, whoops. Oh, well. One, two. Pendant, uh, you have to move up. It'll be okay. You got the anticipation nonsense. Yeah, didn't work. It's fine, it's okay. This is a very easy camp. I was just trying something new. Okay, some of them are at least freaking out a little bit. That's fine. It's actually quite good. Both of this is quite good. Okay, it's kind of working. Managed to bait them out, mostly. I want to attack the guys with nets. Pendant is really quick. But we're gonna still wait, cause... Ooh, 51% on B-Res, and he is not invincible. Alright, let's get Bob... Mm, no, I want them to throw their, like, nonsense. Yep. Okay, Flirpeter. You're gonna step up and attack, so you have a little bit of time. Rhubarb, same Dio.
We need to start getting up on them. Might need to move, uh, I'm not sure which way to move Maverick yet. Well, see, I have some taunts. Might be able to do some weird stuff with them. Does that guy have a dagger to shank me with? I'm not sure. Okay. Aggression is the name of the game here. Well done, Pendant. Double throw. Up a derp. Hmm. Fifty three percent. Well done, buddy. Forty eight. Well done, rhubarb. Ooh, beautiful headshot. I love it. I don't mind that one throwing its weapons. No grod. That's not your shield. Klaus. You can come to the middle. You might taunt the uh, overseer. I don't know which one of these guys has a dagger. But I don't think he can double kill there. Go doggo! Ugh, almost. I do think Aya is better in the middle. Okay, they're gonna get a lot of shots off. It's fine. Ah, oh, they all get to use nets. That'd be annoying. Well done, puppy. Alright, it's fine. Ugh, dagger. Very dangerous. Okay, that moron did nothing. Pendant, 71% kill. Let's get the guy with the pike. Probably should have dropped the dog first. I'm gonna drop a dog back here and in his turn, the dog could proc a morale. Check, what are you doing, puppy? All right, move up, try to, good. Derp a derp. I'm gonna bank on being able to kill this thing this turn. Well done. Nice headshot. Frog. Move up. You might attack something else. Hold on. Well done. Go broad, break yourself out. Wait. Rhubarb. And a miss. Klaus. Go for the kill. Uh, no such luck. Wait, I'm B res because I want to try to get B res over there. Well done, Aya. Alright, they are definitely having issues now. Bend yourself, Krog. Knife fight time! Get Klaus in there. Erez, go uh, get that overseer. Make sure he can't do anything. I moved mountaining. Wow! That uh, ambusher didn't attack? Brave. Yeah! The AI doesn't want to attack dogs anymore. 
See, look at that. The AI has been changed to basically ignore dogs. But dogs still proc morale checks. They still give you plus 5% attack against most enemies. You could still probably use dogs in some other ways. So, still a very good investment. I just find it fascinating that the AI was changed like this. Alright, get up there, Bob the Beast. Rhubarb. Get that Overseer. I love these misses. Frog. Try to fear some break one of them. Alright, get in there, Maverick. Wait. Oh, ah, there's a misclick. I, for some reason, I didn't think I had the uh, thing on. All right, I mean, that still works. All right. Uh, pendant. Need to get you over there. Headhunt, I love it. Whipper Stab in a miss. Just gonna go for the kill. Um, this one can just attack Bob the Beast. No reason not to just double attack. Get I in there. Alright, this battle is basically over. It is an easy fight, but apparently you can't bait goblins. They're too smart for being baited. Alright, this is very thematically fitting, though. I'm gonna go for the triple puncture, because uh, regular attacks don't do anything. He's actually okay to puncture Aya. He's got 100 hit points. Not super worried. Five percenters. I love it. Well done. Rhubarb. Good hit. Alright, their lines are broken. Ah, nice battle. <laughs> the game just wants me to have all the armors. This armor is somehow even more sick than the other armors I found. This is just a better version of that 260 armor. This is also, this is like literally Nimble Forge armor. Not real like into Nimble Forge. It's just like, there's no point. Your characters are already so tanky one way or the other. Why do you need like more survivability? For like what possible reason, you know? But maybe, maybe I'll make a character like that. Um. Not the mountain, it doesn't make sense to do it on him because um, he has, uh, like, he just needs to get hit a lot. But another character might benefit from that nonsense. Oh. Another, like, certainly the game wants me to have golden armor because it knows, it knows my game plan. Wow. My god. Almost a 300 armor, but minus like 15 or is it 17 fatigue or something. That's just absurd. I don't even know what to do with all this armor. It's like a problem. Huh. Okay. Uh, I will repair this thing. Wow, okay, congratulations on your level up, buddy. Yes, yes, I'll take the two defense now. You're probably gonna go fortify mine just so you don't break. So worried about that. Uh, you need Nimbo? I think I always give you the cleaver no matter what. It's just like too strong. And then once you're not sick, we're gonna send you on the front. And you're going to tank for us. You know what? 61%. Uh, it's not good. I want, like, actually a good nimble set. Too bad about this barbarian armor. It looks so cool, but it's just, like, objectively worse than a lot of my other armors. It's like a slightly better 210 armor. It's literally a 210 armor with minus 5 fatigue, so it's kind of like meh. Um, really need to make sure... The mountain here has actually perfect nimble gear. 
What helmet? Blue helmet will be fine for now. We'll get you a... Oh, no. You should definitely be the red helmet. Because you're going to get attacked all the time. Okay. Perfect nimble gear. And then I'll figure out the rest later. Um, that helmet. It's not that great. Taros needs to heal. So we'll do something like this. I think this is good. Huh. Just like a weird experience this run. I don't even know like half the time what is going on. Sure. Cosplay a barbarian nomad combo maverick why not okay we just need to find one more goblin camp let's go come on goblin camp nothing uh okay now oh, this is interesting there's a battle here between the goblins and the orcs Okay, well, that answers the uh, goblins camp. I've never seen two camps be so close to one another like this. Overseer, ambush, skirmisher, wolf ride. This is not a joke fight. Um, this is actually a very serious fight. It's also on a hill. Still. Okay, I'll take care of the small orc camp off camera, and then I'll just figure out how to fight the goblins. All right. Those orc youngs got off a few cheeky hits, but got some tools to make up for that. Now comes the real test. Huh. On a hill, fortifications, ambushers, skirmishers, and overseer, but no shaman. However, those wolf riders are no joke. Um, they do a lot of damage if you don't have armor. Even nimbos barely a protection against them. But if you have armor, wolf riders can't do anything to you. So, let me reorganize. Okay, if we're attacking goblins on a hill, I need to bring tons and tons of Pathfinder bros. And most of my characters do have Pathfinder, of a couple exceptions. I am bringing Alejandro because there are wolf riders. Alejandro can deal with them forever. Giving him the barbarian armor, he does look cool. A little weird without like a two-handed weapon or something, but... You know, he's a big boy, right? This does, these two armors do like go together very well. We have B-Rez, sort of a hidden reserve type character. Uh, Flirpaderp is here to shoot a few crossbows. Uh, and then we got a uh, Pendant, of course. This is his specialty, fighting and killing these goblins. I think we are good to go. They don't have as much range and they don't have that shaman causing trouble, but Still not a easy fight. Yeah, especially if they have this sort of terrain, right? Now, I remember last... Oh my god, they hit Pendant? Is that a 16%? Now, I remember last uh, season, I rushed a character like Nataros up and got him killed by Wolf Riders. I was playing very loosey-goosey. I was done with that campaign. I just didn't care anymore. But I do care about this campaign, and I will not be doing stupid stuff like that. Let's wait. Uh, Pendant's actually kind of vulnerable to the Wolf Riders as well. We have to be very careful here. Wolf Riders are the priority. Alright. There is the Overseer. This is going to suck. Oh, missed. Ah, he shot low settings. He Low settings likes it when you shoot him. Okay, there uh, again, we should wait, let them like grow their bolas or whatever from range. No need to give them a round of free hits for nothing. Yeah. 70%. Okay, let's start moving up. go here and try to attack through the middle and get at that overseer. It's not terrible. Lord Over is better with the backstabber though. And there are no shields on this side. Uh, 
Uh, Maverick is better. Maverick we can put here. We're gonna put Lord of uh, down there. Derp derp. Let's just step you up too. I mean, it's something. You don't have anticipation. I'm so worried about you getting like destroyed. Why don't we just tuck you in a little bit? Pendant, you're our anti-goblin specialist. Watch out for those wolf riders. Alejandro's gonna probably go there. We can move Pendant up here. And as long as Alejandro's there to protect him, he'll be okay. Low settings? Just make yourself a target, buddy. When you come here, make yourself a big, big, big target. Frog up. Rhubarb. Maverick, yep, that was always the plan. Tuck B resing here. Be a little more careful. I do not want to get flanked. I actually think the right flank is okay. I'm gonna do some I'm gonna put Aya in the middle. He's he's extremely good in the middle. Okay. That's why I want an Alejandro here. Now let's see if the Wolf Rider is doing anything. We're gonna eat a round of shots. Nothing you can do. That's always how it is against goblins. But they can't hit. <laughs> Thanks to the OP power of anticipation. Let's see what the Wolf Riders do. They're the real threat here. Although I could get Lord Irva up. Zone these two. I do not mind them chucking their stupid bolas. I like okay 17 1 2 3 4 5 5 there's two more enemies out there it could be like two more wolf riders I do not want the wolf riders like surprise flanking me Lord Erva going there to, and attacking it doesn't do anything we're just gonna wait Lord Erva I didn't really want to shoot you, but you have cover. Aha! Look at those wolf riders trying to be sneaky. Ha! <laughs> that's cute. Okay, that's f Ah! I knew it. That's fine. You can take it, B-Rez. Alright, B-Rez might bust out his uh, shield. Okay. You only have one move pendant. The question is, do you drop a dog? I don't think so. Just end your turn immediately. It might matter. Flurp a derp. You might shoot that goblin. We'll see. Rhubarb. Again, I kind of want to know if there are more like wolf riders hitting the fog. Frog. Wait for surround bonuses. Be res. You might have to shield yourself. So wait. Watch out for those wolf riders. Maverick, get yourself up on the decent ground. I like that. Aha, they do have more wolf riders. Look at that! Sneaky, sneaky wolf riders trying to flank us. Swing away and end your turn. Nataros. I'm gonna get netted here, but I honestly don't care. The wolf rider is the actual threat. Well done, Nataros. That was a good headshot. You just move Aya up. Cause them to freak out. Let's wait. I want to see what the Wolf Riders do. Yeah, I was a little worried about that. Okay, we're going to move Lord Irva up. Let's go for the stun. Um, drops his shield wall. Burp -a derp a uh, You do not have... Okay, I know what to do with you. 40%. Swing in a miss. Rhubarb. That wolf rider could cause a lot of problems.
We can move the mountain up though. Go for the kill there. Well done, Rhubarb. Honestly, if the Wolf Riders want to go after low settings, it's not the worst thing. Alright, double Fearsome. Good job, Croc. I could have also... Oh, no. Croc, remember, he doesn't have the fence. I can't, like, rush him up. Okay. How much do I worry about getting shot by the crossbow? A decent amount. But I know how to guard against that. We're gonna drop a... Yeah, we can drop a dog. That's 3 AP, 2 AP, and then attack. So the dog protects me, Rez. Move you up here, Mountain. You can take this. There's only the one Wolf Rider. You have the, like, gazillion potions. If we move Aya to the middle, it might cause them to freak out. I still don't want to get double punctured. Or do I? He, Aya can take a few punctures. They're going to be 5%. Let's go for the break here, and then if that doesn't work. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Alejandro, let's come up to cover Pendant and go for a stab. Don't release a dog yet. That uh, ambusher is very dangerous depending on what he does. Yeah, yeah, okay. Injured shoulder. Look at that. Like 5%. This is why I don't like doing that. We're going to have to save uh, Aya, which is fine. I knew that was a risk. Now Aya's like out. He can't actually do anything. Oh, good job, dog. A pendant. The wolf riders are so terrifying. Go for the kill. You got the headhunt. Swing and a miss. You might drop a dog. If the Overseer wants to shoot you, I'm okay with that. Let's get you up here, Lord Irva, and stun that one. Okay. Dealt with. They really want to go to, for Nataros. Scary. Derp, you, ha you have that thing. 73. 73 seems so much better, right? Low settings. I might need you to do something else. I haven't figured that out yet. Maverick for sure needs to get on this one. Same with Rhubarb. I actually don't care about the Wolf Rider anymore. Okay, good job, Krog. Very good job. Impressive work indeed. Powers, you have to headhunt. Uh, wait, you might have to run. Be res. Oh! Okay, wait. Aya, 61%, swing and a miss. Hmm. Distraction dog on the wolf rider. I think I have no choice. Pendant. You can also distraction dog. Oh, that dog is dead. I need to free up B res. So get low settings down there. Maverick, get on the uh, Overseer. Make sure he can't um, heavy crossbow.
Distraction dog. Nataros is so vulnerable. I, I just can't. I can't. I can't risk it. Even as aggressive as I am. Um, I'm going to try to move B res over here to protect. Like, those wolf riders will absolutely shred Nataros. I have not forgotten what happened last time. This is fine. Yep, I know, I know. It's worth it to protect Nataros. Yeah, see? They're smart! Oh. Uh, I need to get more dogs. Alright, well done, puppy. Lord Irva... You can get up on the face of these guys, but you might as well wait. You have Relentless. That's okay. Okay, that one's still stunned. Don't you have a crossbow? Hmm. Overwhelmed the Overseer? You know what? That actually uh, didn't do anything, but it might have done something. Okay. Frog, uh, you need to help out here. Wait, rhubarb. Let's see if Aya can kill that skirmisher. The rhubarb, you're gonna wait as well. Low settings. Yeah, I haven't quite figured out what to do with you yet, so you wait. Maverick. Same deal. Okay. B res, you might just have to. Come over here and shield. No rush though. Okay, Nataros, you have the headhunt. Alright, good hit, good hit. Let's free up Pendant. Alright, the mountain only has one move. Pendant also has a headhunt. Beautiful work, buddy. Kill. Headhunter doing good work there. How many AP do you have left, Krog? Five. Uh, stay put pendant and your turn immediately. Could be relevant. That guy, if he has a dagger, would suck. Alright. Alejandro breaks free. Good. You can deal with these two, Alejandro. Okay, I don't know what that move was, but it seemed pointless. Prague can deal with that, and B Res can deal with that thing. Okay, our situation is much better now. Well done, Rhubarb. In fact, let's move low settings here to protect. Maverick, double swing. Be res, you can come up and protect yourself. All right, flanks are all protected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alejandro can take it. Now let's go for the stun here, and then put Lord Irva up. Might as well wait. Okay, now Wolf Rider is running. Good. Derp -a -derp. Make sure to switch the melee weapon because um, you need a melee weapon to avoid getting zoned. Also, 100 hit points. Like, I don't understand. Like, I hate moving Battleforge character up against uh, Goblin Ambushers because exactly of that puncture nonsense. Um, like, like, I've seen it so much. I just know that it's a thing. Rhubarb, more aggression. Actually gonna attack the ambush in the back because I'm pretty confident of breaking him. Yep. Wait. Okay, gotcha. Aya. We're not gonna get like punctured 
learn our lesson. Okay. Blurp -a -derp. Frog. Double stab. Here's some doing work. Do not want to send low settings up. Um, send him on sort of a flank. Maverick, go for the break. All right, go for the kill. That works. Let's let uh, the Wolf Rider just attack Alejandro. B res, get your fatigue back. Let her headshot. Go for the kill there, Alejandro. No, okay. All right. They want a footwork like okay. That's perfectly fine with me. Ooh. They do a lot of hit point damage, but you'll be fine low settings. Don't worry. Alright, this fight's over. There's just two wolf riders. We always beat this. But uh, I'm gonna wait for the maximum surround bonuses. Alright. Once we control the wolf riders, the fight honestly wasn't that difficult. The only problem was Aya suffered a big injury. Minus 25% damage. That really sucks. Because, like, I left him next to a goblin who can puncture. Like... I think in order to be safe, you need 100 hit points and the additional fur padding, which I'm missing. Uh, plus, even even if he had that, he would have been injured, but he would have been poisoned. It still sucks. Like, there's a simple way to avoid that sort of problem. Just don't put your Battleforge guys next to, like, puncturers. It's really easy, in fact, to, like, not do that. So, can you imagine if the goblins all just had, like, fast adaptations and daggers, and there's 30 of them? They would, like, destroy any Battleforge company. Whereas Nimble companies would laugh. Uh, okay, I'm gonna throw away a lot of my garbage here just because I have too much junk in the inventory. Okay, picked out the best loot. It's time to head back to civilization. Not chasing anything else down. Alright, what's the quickest way back to Malstead? Why? It's going through all the wilderness and killing everything else I see on the map. I love it. Uh, got some level ups. Huh. I actually have to take the plus four hit points. Like, I have to. And then he's going to get only 123. I can give him like light Battleforge armor. It still kind of works out. Or brawny. Like he needs the hit points, right? To get up to close to 80. It's not a choice there. Plus 3 on attack is really good though. Hmm. Gifted too. His starting stats. Ah, uh, if it, the melee defense, like, this is still a good character, but he's got some other issues because his other starting stats weren't very impressive. Uh, kind of disappointing. A little bit disappointing, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay. Got a lot of armors being repaired. Uh, Aya has the injured shoulder. Ugh, damage reduction really sucks. But I'm still going to field him in every battle, just so I can count the um, total number of battles. What are we up to, anyway? Where is it? Uh, 123 battles. Not bad in 50 days. This is a very high roll. I usually do not get this many battles. But, you know, good stuff. Alright, not going to chase those goblins. Let's just uh, head north and get back to Molstad. Got ourselves a goblin trinket. Thank you, game. How close am I to the next uh, 3,300? We're still a while away. Okay. If I had more money, I would buy a bigger cart, but I need to get more money first. All right, found a small camp. Um, this is honestly not worth recording. Our, our company is so much more powerful than this. So I'll take care of some battles off camera and pick things up after, um, after I find an interesting battle.